if you've watched the Hushin channel before, I hope you've realized how passionate we are about the animals we pursue, the meat it provides, and the adventures that we get to share with you. One of the coolest things to us about the Hushin channel is sharing our passion of hunting and providing for our families with people all over the world that may not hunt themselves. One of the questions we get asked the most is, how do we get an animal after we have harvested it and cut it up back to the truck? All right, we just got our antelope cut up. Uh, I short quarter my animals, which means I don't ever gut them. Um, I've done a few videos, so if you wanna see how to do that, go watch here is an antelope and here is a deer, I think. But so that's what we did to this antelope. We're not too far from the pickup, probably about a mile, mile and a half. So I just short quarter them real quick. The secret to an antelope to making it taste good is to get them cut up as fast as you can and get them in some ice and get them cooled down however you can do it. I even know some old guys that used to go hunt Wyoming every year. After they'd kill an antelope, they would skin it, throw it in the creek, leave it in the creek all day, come back and get it at night. So that's the way I learned and every antelope I've ever killed has been absolutely amazing like it's probably my favorite meat but so I got it quartered cut up back straps sirloins some of the neck meat cut off um, I just want to show you guys this this is uh, caribou gear they're out of Colorado they sent me this want me to try it out this is freaking it's called the magnum pack but it's uh, just a it's basically game bags but it's a whole package um, I think this is the medium size which is like rated for uh, caribou and uh, elk so awesome I've used it on deer a few times never made a video but it's it's it has everything you need to uh, take care of an animal out in the field it even has gloves which I forgot to put on so I'm just gonna open this up um, as you can see there's a plethora of game bags uh, the pack includes seven bags and seven ID tags so you can actually put ID tags on every one which are in here um, like I said it has gloves it has seven ID tags so if you're transporting it somebody else is transporting it to a different state every state has different regulations and laws make sure you check in to what they are when you're transporting them but uh yeah so this this one has one 12 by 20 camp meat bag so it's like for like your scrap meat like the tenderloins and the back straps it has one 23 by 30 cape bag which I think uh, you could put over most of the meat uh, 20 another 23 by 30 meat parts bag, uh, four 28 by 48 quarter bags, so you can put every quarter in a different bag, one 10 by 24 plastic bag, and uh, one storage bag, which is this. So it has everything. This is an antelope, super small. I think I'm going to take the biggest pack, biggest bag there is, which may be this one. And the great thing about these is you can wash them. They won't rip. They won't stain. But I'm gonna put all four of my quarters in here, then I'm gonna get the smaller bag and put my, my scrap meats, put it in there, and then put it in my Everly stock bag, and uh, we'll be on our way back down to the truck. So I just, when I cut them up, the quarters off, I just like to lay them out, let them cool down, brush the dirt off. I try to lay them in the grass, brush the dirt and the hair off. I'll do this a better job of this when I get back to the truck, right before I put them in the cooler. But you just wanna kinda of get them clean make sure there's not a lot of hair. Antelope are hard. The antelope actually have hollow hair and it comes off super easy. So let's try to line all these up like this. Like that. Big old hind quarter. Now an elk's gonna be a lot bigger and everything's a lot bigger than an antelope. So you got all four quarters in that bag. Just cinch it up. Another great thing is it's not going to stain my every stock bag because this is the first time of the year and I'm going to have be using this pack a lot. So just throw her down in there like that. Then I'll take one of these smaller bags like this. Get my scraps. Got some more scraps over there, but I'll just show you guys. A bunch of the neck meat I just cut into like little chunks because you use it for uh, like sausage or salami. This is the best meat. This is the back strapped. Throw that in there. 
Clean this one off. Throw it in there. That can be your camp, your camp meat bag. So meat you're gonna eat in camp, you got it right there. Toss that in there. And then I'm gonna grab some of this other stuff that we're gonna eat tonight and put them in one of these bags. But great, great company. These guys are making the best, by far the best game bags on the market. It's a whole kit. Um, Caribou gear, check them out. And uh, I'll let you guys know what else I use them for this year. Hopefully some elk, some deer, maybe a freaking walrus. If I had a walrus tag, I wouldn't want to kill a walrus. So I'm gonna throw that back in there and grab the head, which we just cut the head off. How cool is that? Biggest antelope I've ever shot. He's about, probably about, I don't know, 15, 16 inches. But look how that one comes forward. This one goes back. All with my six-year-old son. Come here, buddy. How was it? Good. Was it fun? Yeah. Gager even helped me cut some of it up. His first hunt ever actually was a deer hunt when he was two years old with my little brother and he shot a nice deer. And Gage didn't like it too much. He was a little too young, a little too bloody, but so I really wanted to come back, bring him back out here and uh, kind of redeem this whole hunting, this hunting process. And I think we did, didn't we? Yeah. So we're gonna get this stuff packed back up and get back down to the camp and eat some lunch, right? Right. All right, let's go. If I can get this thing on. Ready? Yeah. You ready? That's the whole hunting process, besides the consuming of the meat. What a cool, cool experience. I mean, I've done this a lot. I've been very fortunate to go on some amazing hunts, kill some absolutely gorgeous animals, and feed my family with the meat that we harvest out here in the woods. But this was a little different. I have my six-year-old son with me. Looked forward to this ever since we had our first kid. I was so excited to teach him what I loved and show him the outdoors, and hopefully, they fall in love with it. And if not, it's all right too. But Gage had an absolute blast. We we're so very fortunate to harvest one opening day, and now we can go enjoy ourselves, do a little camping. And you good, bud? Yeah. You ready to go back and eat some of this? What? You ready to go back and eat some of this? Yeah. Let's do it. Ready, ready. You're not a hunter, not a fisherman, for whatever reason I understand, but if you have kids, you got to get out in the woods. Get out in the wild. See that? A cow bone. Have experiences like that. I promise they'll never forget the time you guys spend outdoors, even if it's hiking, mountain biking, sightseeing. Get out and enjoy this. This is ours to enjoy. It's gorgeous.